Welcome to another adventure in RV living with Auntie B. There's an old saying that says a happy wife is a happy life. Well, we're going to start a project that's going to make the missus extremely happy. We're going to give her a larger shower, more storage, and an improved heating system. The renovation is going to consist of removing the cabinetry, the toilet, and also the shower. This will expose the existing furnace, the black water tank, and all the plumbing and electrical. So, let's get started, shall we? Let's take a look at the pieces we removed. We have the old furnace, the old tank, and also the old tub. So let's see how each individual these stack up against the new stuff we're going to put in. Here we have the old furnace. As you can see, it's pretty bulky and big. It's also highly inefficient. And we're replacing it here with the platinum cat heater, which is a lot more efficient to use and also a smaller footprint. We're going to end up taking the heater and it's going to be approximately mounted right here. And a, in another video we'll show the actual installment of this in the new cabinetry we're going to build for this. So let's move on and take a look at the uh, black water tanks themselves. And here we have the old tank which is approximately about 10 gallons. This would be good for two people for about three days depending upon how careful they are in usage. We're replacing it with this brand new 20 gallon. This is uh, this is more flat, so the footprint is not as is not as high. And so you can see, this will be able to do two people approximately about seven days, maybe a little bit longer if they're really careful. Now the drawback is we're also going to feed the shower water into this same black water tank, which as before it went into the gray water tank. But that'll be okay. We're 20 gallons and we're good for at least seven days without dumping. Let's take a look at the last piece and that is the shower. Okay, with the old setup, we had the shower tub here and the toilet was sitting next to it and the van was facing that direction longwise. Now, get rid of that and with the uh, new shower pan, the toilet will sit up here and this becomes our new configuration. And this configuration is lengthwise on the back of the RV. This will allow us not only a big shower area, but it also enables us to increase the amount of storage through uh, cabinetry and stuff we will add. So this is it for what we're replacing it with. In the next video, we'll start the actual building and installment of the black water tank, the shower pan, the, new, the toilet, and the new heater. So we'll see you then.